Are you ready to get started learning how to use your Instant Pot? You are not going to want to miss these five very, very simple recipes, things to cook in your Instant Pot to get you started. Hey guys, day two for this month's mini series all about using your Instant Pot. I have had my Instant Pot for almost two years now and I feel like I have not been using it enough. So I picked out a lot of things to teach myself along with you guys how to get the most out of your Instant Pot. So today I am sharing five of the easiest things you are definitely going to want to start cooking in your Instant Pot. I also wanted to let those of you know who do not have an Instant Pot just yet, if you guys just have a crock pot, if you check out the channel I have linked down below, Nicole Burgess, she does Foodie Fridays and this Friday she's doing a crock pot dinner meal of Cajun chicken fettuccine. I love my crock pot so I am definitely going to be checking that out. She has a lot of yummy recipes that she shares pretty much every single Friday on her series Foodie Friday. So definitely check out her link down below so you don't miss that video that's coming out tomorrow on her channel. All right, so we are going to get into recipe or food item number one. Easiest thing number one. I've got my Instant Pot. I'm going to set this little piece in here. Pull up the sides. One cup of water. And then however many eggs you want to hard boil. These are the eggs that I have left. <laughs> I need to go shopping, but I'm just gonna put all seven of these in here and just set them on top of this. There they are. Closing my lid. I am gonna make sure on sealing and not venting. Manual for seven minutes. Eggs are done and now I'm going to release the pressure and push this to venting. It's gonna be very loud so I'm gonna do that and then cool my eggs however you like. I put mine in a bowl of icy water. I'm going to peel them and show you guys how they turned out. And there's my hard boiled eggs from the Instant Pot. Let's make some white rice. Okay, I have two cups of rice, two cups of water, one tablespoon of oil, and some salt. So we are just gonna add all of this to our pot. Rice, water, oil, salt, or if you guys like to season your rice, go ahead and put in whatever seasonings you use now. We're gonna stir it just a little bit. Let's get our lid on. And if you like that manual button, just hit the manual button, make sure it says 12 minutes and you're gonna cook it for 12 minutes or the rice is already preset. Rice is done and instead of venting it, I'm going to let it, the pressure release naturally so I'm going to keep an eye on this. It automatically goes to keep warm and I'm just gonna wait for that to get to 10 minutes and then we are going to open the top and look at our rice. And there you have it. Easy cooked rice in the Instant Pot. All right, here we go, pinto beans. Now these are no soak, but you still want to rinse and drain them. So I have one pound of dry pinto beans. I have five and a half cups of water and whatever seasoning you want to use. I actually have this pinto bean seasoning by Fiesta and I'm gonna use about three tablespoons of that. Super easy. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to add my pinto beans to my Instant Pot. I'm gonna add my five and a half cups of water. About three tablespoons, probably a little bit over three tablespoons of my pinto bean seasoning. I'm 
go ahead and just give it a little stir. All right. Getting that lid on. And we're going to cook it on manual for 45 minutes. All right, my time is up and I'm going to let it release the pressure naturally. So I am not going to switch my steaming to venting. I'm gonna leave it like this. Um, it should take about maybe 25 minutes and I'll know that it's released when this is down. Time is up. That is down, letting me know that it's completely vented. All the steam is out. All right, I'm going to give this a stir, put it in a bowl, and show you guys how they turned out. There you have it, pinto beans, super easy in the Instant Pot. Frozen chicken, okay, I don't know how many times I have gone to make dinner and I realized that I forgot to take the chicken out of the freezer. So depending on what you're making, this is a quick fix. I just pulled this out of the freezer. It is rock hard. I buy my chicken in bulk at Costco. So first step, you are going to take whatever kind of cooking spray that you use and spray the entire inside of your pot. Now I am going to put my chicken, I'm not gonna do it while I'm holding the camera, but I'm gonna put my chicken in my pot. Chicken is in the pot, hands are washed, and now I'm just gonna take about half a cup of water and pour it around the edge, all the way around, and then you guys use whatever seasoning you want, salt and pepper. I'm actually going to be using this seasoning from Thrive. It's the chef's choice. If you guys want to check this out, they actually have a sale coming up April 19th is when it starts, so I will have a link down below, but I have been using this on all of my meats lately, along with other things. You can use this for all sorts of things. So I am just going to sprinkle this all over my chicken. All right, let's get the lid on. Make sure it's sealing, it's sealed. And then we're just gonna do manual and we are going to bump this up to about 14 minutes. This is fantastic if you like to prep your lunches. I'm gonna go ahead and shred this um, and use it for salads or even tacos for dinner. I mean, so many things. I could have cooked more than this in this pot, the size that I have, um, and really prepped it, even went ahead. Like this is so fast for prepping and freezing and all sorts of stuff. Or if you are like me and you forget to take your chicken out to defrost it and thaw it out before dinner, just pop it in your Instant Pot frozen. So there we have it, quick frozen chicken done in the Instant Pot. Last of the five easy recipes is mashed potatoes. And these mashed potatoes do not require any kind of draining. So I have about two pounds of peeled and chopped potatoes. And instead of using a bowl, I always just use my strainer just in case I was going to be straining them. It's just a habit now, but you're not gonna need to strain them. So I have them in my strainer and then one cup of water. So I am just going to add my potatoes to the Instant Pot. Oh, that one thinks it's getting away without being cooked. Wrong. Then my one cup of water. And I am just going to even these out a bit. All right, I'm gonna add my lid, close it up. Let's make sure it is sealing. And then that manual button again for six minutes. I am letting the pressure release by the valve. It's been about three minutes and it's almost done. Let's poke these, oh my goodness, nice and soft. So you can make your mashed potatoes however you want at this point, but I am gonna go ahead and finish them off for you guys. So I have a one cup of milk, 
about half a stick of butter. And then in here, I have some salt, pepper, and garlic powder. Then my handy dandy mixer is going to really mash these up. Creamy, delicious Instant Pot mashed potatoes. So easy. There you have it, the top five things. I did a lot of searching and things that I have been cooking lately and those are at the very top of my list. There are a ton more that you could cook in your Instant Pot that is very, very simple and not necessarily a recipe, but just a food item. So if you guys have any other suggestions of items that you would like to see me cook or you have cooked in your, rest, in your Instant Pot that is super easy, leave those down in the comments so we can all glance them over and get more ideas because I love, love, love sharing and getting more from you guys because I am definitely not an expert at all. I am learning right along with you guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget, this is a mini series. So next Monday, I am going to be sharing three breakfast recipes. So come back on Monday for another Instant Pot video. I do try to upload at least six times a week. So I should be back tomorrow with something new. And don't forget to also tomorrow, check out Nicole's channel so you can see her crock pot dinner menu. I'm gonna be over there also watching it. I'm excited to see it. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.